We've been in business 70 years, developing test standards, specifications, and methods to test fenestration, which is windows, doors, and skylights. For 40 years, we've been certifying the performance of those products. We are involved in this project as a key partner with Dr. Forrest Masters of the University of Florida. We've uh, recently participated in the procurement of a very sophisticated precipitation imaging probe. It's, uh, it's a very unique instrument. There's only 10 of them in the world. And it characterizes the rain and the rain droplets profiles to better assess the impact on windows, doors, and skylights. The main event today is going to be the demonstration that's going to be conducted by Forrest. Why we are interested is because we develop standards for these kind of events and right now we're in the middle of one and this will for the first time it, it's a pioneering effort almost groundbreaking to characterize what actually happens to a hurricane on buildings and the products in those buildings. What you're seeing here is really a continuum of research. In the background you see a tower that's poking up there on the horizon um, it sort of began there. After Hurricane Andrew, we had a lot of questions about what happened post-storm in terms of what the wind effects were on the structures, the wind-driven rain effects. And you know, since then, and, and even well before, even going back to Alicia and all these storms, there's always a sto story to be told. Um, and Alicia, in the case, it was looking at the you know, uh, gravel roof ballast and Andrew roof wall connections in 2004, 2005. We certainly learned a lot about water intrusion issues. Since the uh, 1990s, we've been deploying portable instrumentation in the path of landfalling hurricanes, and uh, uh, we, we use the term storm chaser. I guess to some extent that's what we do, but um, we work very hard to get instrumentation in place to quantify the actual conditions at landfall, and uh, that's certainly taken us into a few harrowing moments, but um, here we see some of the payoff. We're going to try to replicate that in a laboratory setting to evaluate the performance of building products intended for hurricane-prone regions. Today, we're going to perform a, a demonstration for you. We're going to harness 2800 horsepower, which, which is on that far setup there. We've got four 700 horsepower Detroit diesel motors, and we're going to use fluid power to turn these fans, and we're going to create a lot of wind, a lot of rain, and we're going to test this uh, mock-up that uh, ATI built for us today, and you can get a, get a taste of where we're headed for the future. Um, in the spring, we're going to begin an exhaustive series of experiments to evaluate uh, water intrusion. Um, of basically holistic testing, looking at how the window, the wall, and the interface interact with one another, and we're going to try to keep water out of the building. So I hope today you'll get a, a small taste for that.